right here at 125. Well, the winner of this match, Tim, gets four points. And you see the five and a half point spread that Shane mentioned earlier. The winner, again, four, the difference between first place and second place in the scoring is four points. And, you know, this was a close match, as I mentioned in the open. You know, there, there was no scoring on the feet. Gilman was able to go ahead and do a, a, a get a, a minute of riding time, and that was the difference in the match in the duel, which was January 4th of this year. These guys have met a few times. Like you said, they met this year in college, but they've also met when they're in freestyle and going for the USA. And and um, Gilman, he's won, he won a bronze medal at the 2014 Junior World Championships. Was a four-time Nebraska State Champion at Scott Catholic, a Nebraska wrestling powerhouse. And then Tomasello, a three-time USA Wrestling Junior National Freestyle Champion in Fargo. He wrestled Tom Gilman in the Fila Junior World Team Trials and lost twice. So they know each other. Yeah, there's a lot of familiarity here. You can see Gilman likes to attack from the right-hand side. He, uh, he's been pretty effective at that, works the head pretty well. I've been impressed with his demeanor in this tournament. He's been calm, he's been executing techniques. Of course, Tomasello coming off that huge emotional win yesterday against the defending national champion, Jesse Delgado. He likes to attack to his left, or his right, excuse me, head to the outside shot. He will come with a sweep single on the other side. So learning to attack both sides of the body, both these young young athletes, freshman for Tomasello and Gilman uh, sophomore. You speak of freshman, Tomasello coming back to the center. He's one of three freshmen for Ohio State in the finals today and one of the three co-captains. They're all freshmen. That's how much Tom Ryan, the head coach, thinks of these young stallions to lead the program not only in the future, but right now. Yeah, you see that uh, Tomasello drifting to the, to the right. He likes to move off to that right-hand side. And, and uh, again, where Gilman will like to attack, he likes to get head position on that side right there on the right-hand side, and he'll go ahead and sweep. A little bit less effective to the other side, but you know what? You got to go ahead and attack the other guys, the other side of the guy's body to make him react to that so you can get to your strong side. Good look there at Tomasello, a three-time state champion out of Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy in Parma, Ohio. Redshirt freshman going up against a redshirt sophomore, Tom Gilman. Uh, two guys with a little, little different body styles. The uh, Tomasello, a little shorter and stockier. Uh, wrestler pretty thick through the torso. Gilman, long, rangy, long arms. A little space shot right there, they go off the mat. Jim, this has got to be a lot of confidence builder for Tomasello not having lost since his overtime loss to Gilman January 4th. No, no question about it here. He's on a roll. And, and, and we, we identified that when, he, when they wrestled Michigan State, that he was working on some, you know, attacking the other side of the body. And in the first match, these guys went at it pretty hard on the feet. A few more attacks by Tomasello. be constantly going ahead and drifting to that leg that has the Iowa uh, logo on it. And, and, and trying to get that shot off. And, and Gilman is aware of that. He's got pretty good defense. He doesn't let many guys get all the way to his leg. I think he does just a great job of the head, head heads defense and also collar ties, but he also moves his feet very well. Both guys in the middle. We have just got a great position to be able to watch this bench. <laughs> we got the scoreboard right here to our right. The matches you see going on either side of the championship match are for third and fifth place. So we'll update you because there are points being scored in those matches. There it is. Well. Nice single leg attempt. Again, this is not Tomasello's strong shot, but he's showing it here. You can see how Gilman is dragging that wizard to get to the other side. Of, you know, it's kind of dragging him off the mat here. Tomasello looking to post. See how he's got his outside palm down. Tomasello trying to keep Gilman in yeah, the wrestling post, area. Now he keeps, he's trying to shelf that right leg. See how he shelves it on his thigh right there, puts it on their thigh. He's got a good position to be able to come back in. And the two points because Gilman's hands are still in bounds. Two points, takedown, Tomasello. What discipline and poise by Tomasello in that situation. Staying in control, and now he has nine seconds left in the period. Stay in that top position. A ride out here is huge. Going out of bounds kind of helps Tomasello there. There won't be a count. Take a look at the replay. Notice how he's able to shelf that ankle right there. Able to shelf that ankle on his right thigh, and that gave him the poison to be able to bring, come up with that leg. Oh, looks like he uh, 
Green jumped, which is uh, Gilman. Good look at Thomas Gilman. Wasn't even in the varsity lineup last year. He and Corey Clark, the 133 pounder, all American last year at 125, went at it, and Clark was chosen as the 25 pounder. So this is Thomas Gilman's first Big Ten championship. And see, right now with the way the rules are, why wouldn't you hang on a leg right now with five seconds left? You get by a the five second count. Yeah. Yeah, by, by the time the referee starts counting, yeah, it's over with. Thomas Sello gets the choice. He'll choose down to begin the second period at 125 pounds. Unanswered points, Tim, are always important in championship wrestling. And you're going to get a good dose of how excited this crowd is and how they, excited they've been through the whole tournament for their Buckeyes. This is a struggle, a position where Thomas Sello struggled in the down position, was not able to get an escape quickly in that match and Gilman got riding time. So I expect Gilman to go ahead and see if he can exploit that advantage again. Tomasello, yeah, you see the height difference between those two, almost about three inches, which is a huge difference in that weight class. Lou Rizzelli and Jay Jaggers. Jay Jaggers, the two-time NCAA champion in the corner there. I misspoke, I said that uh, Tomasello was a three-time state champion. He was a four-timer yeah. for Tioga Valley. Yeah. And there's the escape. Tomasello out now, 3-0. Now this, again, championship wrestling, 140 left second period. You can expect Gilman now to open it up. You can expect him to go ahead and pick up his pace. He will like to get to that left leg right there, the little reach shot. And you can expect the crowd to open up too, Jim. Uh, yeah. The advantage, uh, you're wrestling in a, an arena like this with a partisan crowd, it's big. Yeah, and, and you know what? It, it, it's too early for, for Thomas Ello to shut, shut down while Gilman is pushing in. He could probably get to his favorite shot. It's, this is gonna be a, you know, both these guys, four-time high school champions, they're used to winning. They, they, they've wrestled at the international level too, and they, they, they're used to winning matches, but for Gilman right now, it's all about picking up the pace. The pace isn't working in his favor. He's got to go ahead and come straight at him. They go off the mat. Gilman, a tremendous year so far. He was the only Hawkeye to go 9-0 in Big Ten duels. Did not get beaten. He beat Tomasello January 4th, last time the Ohio State Buckeye has lost. And here they meet in the finals of the Big Ten Championships. St. John Arena on the campus of Ohio State University. And you can see where Thomas Ello's not really looking for his offense right now. He's circling back out, and when he circles out, he kind of gives up a little bit of ground. And the Iowa coaching staff really likes what they see right there. Morningstar looking for a little bit of a stall warning there, reminding the officials that that might be a possibility. There it is right there on the shot. The yeah. warning by the head referee, Mike McCormick. That's a stall warning against the Buckeye. Well, you can see it in the body language and everything that, that Thomas Settle was looking, you know, he stopped looking for his scoring up. His Thomas, uh, uh, Gilman's coming straight at him, and he can get that shot off if he chooses. You mentioned the shots. Gilman's got uh, about six to two on the number of shots he has attempted. There's, There's another one. That's Gilman's strong side. So far, Tomasello has been out of reach of Gilman's attacks. But in this situation, you're trying to make an impression on, on the official that you are the more aggressive wrestler. Gilman will get the opportunity. He'll choose down to begin the third period. You're looking at the leader, Tomasello, Nathan Tomasello, the freshman. Out in front, 3-0 on the sophomore. And number one seed here in the Big Ten Championships, Thomas Gilman. Caution on Tomasello, jump start. See, it's, it's not a, neither one of these guys are breathing hard at all. They're, they're ready to go, to go another two minutes hard. It's just a matter of whether it's going to be tactical or whether it's going to be technical. And they go off the mat. Tomasello still in the top position with a 3-0 lead, but walking a little slower back to yeah, the center, you, Jim. You, well, you could see it uh, in the middle part of the last period. He wasn't looking for his offense. And sometimes, that, you know, the pilot light goes off. Goes off. It's, it's tough to get it lit up again. Wet matches. Back to the center, same position. 
And he's, he needs to be a little more aggressive in the top position or else he could get dinged and also potentially give up an escape. There's been a warning. And so the next stall warning will be a point for Thomas Gilman. Good work by Gilman. Now he's covering the fingers. And there's the escape. Yep. But, you know, the ride out at the end of the first period, which is so huge. I mean, people look at that. With those being able to control and stay in the top position. Now Gilman has to get a takedown just to tie. There's a shot, kind of a counter shot there by uh, uh, Tomasello. So Gilman busy. runs back, and Tomasello comes back to the center. Ahead, the Buckeye is three to one. So, you know, by the finals, these officials are seasoned. They've been yelled at, they've been screamed at. <laughs> They're just going to call it the way they see it. So, can Nate Tomasello pull off another huge upset? A winner in the semifinals against two time NCAA champion Jesse Delgado, and now leading three to one. And I think for him, I think he's going to have to go ahead and, and work to get to that left leg of, of, of uh, that's his favorite shot. Is he looking for it? Can't really get a good look at his vision. He seems to be looking a little high. And now he's in a front head block position. Look at those, look, look at that grip in the high leg area. Now he's working off the underhook, but does he move forward? Yes, he does. He responds, now he backs out. And he circles back in. Very strategic on the part of Nate yeah. Uh, Tomasello, good job by the young Buckeye. Well, it's been all tactical since he's got he's gotten that lead, but you know, again, Gilman has not made enough of an impression with the attacks to, to, to uh, maybe warrant another call at this point. The shots have not penetrated past the uh, the arms of Tomasello. Tomasello, there it is. The, there's the warning. So now it's one. A takedown by Gilman would win it for Gilman without an, a, an escape. He's in a good position right now at the edge of the mat. Gilman still has his feet in. He circles off. Eight seconds left. And if the Buckeyes win here, they'll inch within a point and a half of the top. Tomasello staying inside that circle, holding his lead. Five seconds left. And we have a freshman yep. champion. Actually, the clock got started late. Match is over. Match is over. And Nathan Tomasello, the freshman from Ohio State, wins the Big Ten Championship at 125 pounds, and Ohio State comes closer to Iowa. Go on and get your name on the wall. <laughs> Jay Jaggers, he knows what it's like to win the two-time NCAA champion there.